Hello, hello, everyone. Uh, so we are here. It is Dolls After Dark time. This is a Karma's World doll. Um, give me a minute. Uh, I love the Netflix show. Uh, that's kind of what I really where I want to start off. Um, the Netflix show has lots of music. It's very catchy. It'll catch the attention of younger kids watching it it's it's awesome if you have ever babysit you love songs with music that are going to get kids engaged um and this doll was only five dollars on clearance at i think was it walmart i think it was walmart <laughs> i believe it was walmart that i saw him at and i snatched him up because i was like five dollars is not bad considering what i paid for karma um i have a uh, i have a new setup in the back I finally got shelves to organize all the dolls that were on my floor, um, for the most part. I got my LOL dollhouse to one side, I got the Monster High, which is currently a Rainbow High lounge on the other, so I was, I was excited with my backdrop. You can see some of my, like, my really, really cool stuff. You can see, like, the Monster High, so, um, yeah, I was excited about that, but anyways, here is, um... Karma's friend, Winston Torres. Uh, I love his name. I love the yellow pants. Uh, they're like a yellow plaid pattern. He's got blue shoes. They don't have like lacing detail. Um, he also has a camera, it looks like. Does he like to film? Does it say anything about Winston? Uh, Winston is a visual artist who loves to make videos with Karma and Switch. Uh, so it is a camera, like a little camcorder, uh, cause Karma came with a microphone, Switch came with, uh, little, little headphones. Um, oh my goodness, he is just, he, he's such a sweet character on the show, just in my opinion. Like, he is always there for his friend Karma. Um, and I think that's really, really sweet. I'm, I'm really excited to open it, him up. Now, Dolls After Dark, the lighting is a little darker because we're filming at night. Okay, so I have almost got little Winston here out of the box. He shouldn't be, like, too hard to get out. I don't see a lot of, like, plastic pieces holding him on. Uh, be careful when you're cutting, though, to get him out because you don't, you don't want to, um, you don't want to, uh, cut his clothes um because I was having to get a little a little close for my comfort to his um box to get all of that I really like the background on the box how it's kind of like a little uh a little uh little stage I think that is so so cute uh let me throw that in the trash because we got to keep this room nice and neat and clean um this is my recording studio doll playroom area Funko Pop collection. I actually have my little Funko Pops in the in dis on display back there. I have my my two that I have. Um but anyways, he's got his blue sweater. Uh I like his blue sweater. He's got brown eyes, brown hair. I love the little like curly afro texture of his hair. I love the blue shoes. I just wish there were more like details painted on, but I think kids will have fun with this. This is to go with a kid's show, so I wasn't expecting a lot of painted on details. For $5, it wasn't bad at all. Um, I would definitely buy this for $5. Uh, if it was full price, it depends. It really depends on how much I wanted that character and that doll. Like Switch, I really wanted because she had red hair like me. Um, but like for Winston, I don't know if I would have paid full price for Winston. I mean, you do get like a nice boy doll. And I wonder if this shirt, like sweater could work on like Barbies and uh, whatnot, like Barbie ladies or like rainbow high dolls. It's really cute. I really like it. He's got like a little geometric pattern on the, on the sleeves, but it's really plain in the front. Um, or maybe like a glow up girl. They're like a similar size. Mm, I'm gonna have to do some playing around with does the fit fit. We gonna start that back up. I haven't done it in a while. I did get an outfit to uh, review a little Barbie outfit. Um, so we might play Barbie dress up soon. 
Um, but Winston is looking fly. He's looking so fly. Um, I love how his ears stick out, like how they have very exaggerated ears on him. It kind of reminds me of the, the Sims, and he's got like a little pointy nose. I love his little pointy nose. Um, one of his arms is kind of bent. There is no articulation in the arm, so you're kind of stuck with like this arm bent and this one straight. He does have articulation, uh, like the five points of articulation, which means articulation in the hips, uh, the arms, and the head has some slight articulation, but mainly just like side to side. Um, I prefer more articulation on my dolls usually because it's just, I mean, you can get the same amount of play out of either dolls, but it's just better for doll photography if I wanted to do like different poses and things. Um, that is something that is really um, handy. I'm trying to figure out how you're supposed to like, because I'm assuming this hand is for his camera maybe. So is there a way I can like get his camera to like balance? Is that maybe like a spot for his thumb and then he puts the camera like no that doesn't look right <laughs> I'm over here like this doesn't look right I don't know how to put his camera on um, so he can he can record I feel like this is supposed to go this way so like I feel like he should be able to hold his camera I mean I guess he sort of can but it doesn't point very straight. Kind of would have thought it would have pointed like straighter. I feel like I'm gonna break the doll if I keep trying to like get this camera to look good. But he can, you can, you can pretend to record with him. The camera doesn't have a lot of like the little details I would usually like for there to be. Like there's no like painted on buttons or anything like that. I think that would have been a nice touch. Um, but yeah, I think he's a nice doll. I just, I really like his yellow little stretchy pants. They're very stretchy. They're like a stretchy fabric, kind of silky feeling. But I don't think it's made out of silk because I, I think it's like a cheaper material than that. Um, I'm not sure what the fabric is, but it is very stress, stretchy. It's kind of like that athletic feeling material, like for athletic shirts and things. Um... I like that he's got like the painted on side so you can have like shaved shaved hair along here. I love that they thought and added that detail in um, to go with his little curly afro hair at the top so it looks like he shaves the side of his head. Um, I've had friends that do that and I, I think it must take a while to like grow back. Um, I think he's so adorable. Oh my goodness. He's got like really cute facial expression. Like he looks so young and sweet and innocent. Like he could never get up to trouble. Not Mr. Winston. Um, he's got like a slightly brown um, like stripe with his yellow plaid. It's like two different tones in the yellow plaid fabric. Um, two tones of yellow and like a brown stripe. He's got... Maybe it's like a little bit of like a navy blue or a purple on the sleeve, but regardless, I like it. There's not like a whole lot to say about Winston. Um, he doesn't really come with a lot of accessories. He's just kind of just at all. Um, but I think it's nice. I, I want to know how much he was regu regular priced. So I might go and uh, Google that real quick for anyone who wants to know. We'll do Karma's World Winston doll. And let's see. Uh, it says he's like $7.99 at most stores. There's like a three pack that comes with accessories that's like $20.64 on Amazon. Um, so it says $7.99. So originally when I bought Karma, she was way more expensive than that. I think I paid like... Oh, good gracious. I don't even want to know how much I paid because I bought her when, like, the dolls first came out. And I don't think they were selling at that particular price. I, I honestly don't. So I think the price has definitely gone down. Like, he's he's 557 
no, five seventy four at Walmart still. Uh, so if we go to uh, window window capture and we just we hide video capture, you can see that Winston is indeed five seventy four, which is not bad. Uh, Switch is seven thirty nine and Karma is. Uh, 1465. I bought which karma was it that I bought? I bought her in like her sporty kind of gear. Um, I don't know which karma it, it is, but she was like sporty looking. Um, uh, it was this karma here, and I bought her with uh, Lady K, and she was 3481. Oh my goodness, that was her original price. And Switch, I think, was maybe ten dollars, so seven. 39 sounds about right. Um, but I kind of want to compare the prices because, like, not everybody is running to Walmart, you know. At Target, it says he's $7.99. And it also says he is $7.99 on Amazon. So I would buy him at Walmart if you're, if you're gonna, um, if you're gonna buy him anywhere, buy him at, uh, at Walmart because he is so much cheaper. Um, and on that note, I will see you all later. Wave goodbye, Winston. Bye, everybody. Have a nice day. And I will see you all tomorrow. Oh, he's such a cute doll. And I highly recommend you watch the Netflix show. Okay, now I'm really going to go. Bye.